Hello, in this video I will talk about network telemetry. I will show you how some network data can be obtained using Mininet Wi-Fi. Network telemetry offers user for detection capabilities which can be coupled with dedicated analysis system to collect, trend and correlate observed network activities. I decided to create this video after many users ask how to extract some information from nodes, such as RSSI, position, etc. Firstly, let's see an example, a sample file for telemetry and how we can, we can call the telemetry function. See there an example, only one line of code. Now the telemetry code, the parameters you can use and how we can work with this. And now let's see uh, the, the, this code working. At first we can capture uh, the bytes transmitter. You can see the graph, we can exchange some data between two nodes. can use hyperf as well, anyway. Only SDA1 send data, right? Now, um, let's try to capture another type of data. And now you try to capture the packets transmitted. So we change the example file and we run the code again. And you can see there the, the graph is changing. We can also send some data, send some data between two nodes, use a path. If you want to capture another type of data, you may want to refer to the uh, statistics subdirectory. And there you can see the bytes transmitted, packets transmitted as well. In this case, we have only one window for all nodes, and uh, we, can, we can also change the how the telemetry will work. I mean, you can, you can see data different nodes in different window so you can see here now SDA1, SDA2, SDA3 one window for each node and again you can extend data between two nodes and see what what's going on Of course, you can you can change the the telemetry code and implement your code to extract the information you need. For example, I have implemented a, a function to capture the the RSSI, so you can change the the data type to RSSI. run the code again and now you see the RSSI for the graph. You can get the, the RSSI value and after seeing the position I try to change the position of SDA1 and see what's happened. Now I change the position, the RSSI is quite the same, but now if I change to another position, the RSSI has changed and, and you can see this change for, for the graph. 
now I change the position again, the RCSI has changed, and you can see again this information through the graph. So I hope it helps you to build your own code in order to, to capture the information you want. That's all. Thanks.